What's up everybody? This is pretty much me in bed in the morning when I realize I have to get up and pee. Now why are we talking about pee? Because this video is all about the kidney, D3.3HL. There's a ton to cover but I think it's really interesting and you guys will probably like it. Now of course, as always, I need to advertise teachme.org so let me show you what I got here. So here's a guy, right? He's running, he's really got to use the bathroom because, you know, we're talking about the kidney in this video, so why not? But as he runs towards the toilet, he gets distracted by this beautiful, amazing website. And he looks at it, okay? He gets distracted because at this website, you can get a ton of, ton of IB style questions and super sexy notes. And as he gets distracted, he ends up just absolutely peeing himself because he got distracted, man. He couldn't reach the toilet. Now, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get started with this video. I want you to pay your attention now towards Elon Musk here. He's gonna represent our model person for this video. So we know, right, throughout the IB, we learn about lots of systems in our body, right? For example, the nervous system, that's our brain, our um, immune system that helps us fight infection, our respiratory system, our cardiovascular system, so many systems. And now we're gonna add another one to you guys' big brains, the urinary system. So to do that, I'm gonna use this slide to give you guys the big picture. And as I do that, I'm gonna give you guys some key structures that you guys need to know. So make sure you focus for this part here. It's gonna make all the big concepts make sense. So let's open up here, Elon Musk, and see what's going on inside him. So we removed all the systems except one, just the urinary system. We kept his urinary system. So it's teeny tiny right now. So let's zoom in and see the big thing here so we can see everything nice and clear. So I want you to notice, right, the first thing about the urinary system is it's not just the kidney. There are many other structures that comprise the urinary system. The kidney is just a key part that we really care about, which is why we're talking about it in this video. Um, so let's start off here. Let's start off with the kidney, okay? What, what is this guy here? This is our kidney. It's like a little bean shape, and we've got two of them, one on the left and one on the right. And they're actually located towards the lower, your backside and the lower part. So when you have, sometimes when you get older or when you have a kidney disease, you may have lower back pain. And it may not be because of muscle or anything like that. It could just be, be because of a kidney problem. Okay, so this guy, this organ right here, the most important organ of our urinary system is the kidney. Now, you might, might be wondering, okay, so what, what exactly in a nutshell does the kidney do? Well, the kidney is really, really cool. And it does in a nutshell this. In a nutshell, it's like a very fancy filter. You know a normal filter in our house that helps separate big things from small things, right? A kidney is basically a filter that separates uh, things that our body doesn't need from the things that our body does need. Let me show you what I mean. So you see here, this is gonna be uh, a big vessel. Let's say it's an artery, right? We know arteries carries blood away from the heart towards uh, all the organs and parts of our body to supply them with oxygen and things like that, right? So that's our artery. So you can imagine here, the artery contains a lot of stuff. So let's take a look at what's really going on inside the artery here. So here we have the artery, take a look. Okay, we're zooming in now, seeing what's exactly inside our blood. So inside our blood, we've got a lot of things. Remember guys, we've got red blood cells, right? Of course, that's what makes our blood look red, the red blood cells. Um, they carry oxygen to our cells, right? We've got uh, glucose, right? Uh, certain nutrients like glucose. We've got lots of water. Water is what makes our blood so fluidy. We've got lots of ions, look at these guys. Ions is any kind of molecule that is positively or negatively charged like this. You see, so chloride ion, sodium ion, these two are the really important ones we'll talk about in this video. But you've also got other ones like mag magnesium ions, protons, we've got calcium, potassium, many ones, right? And we also have proteins, right? Proteins serve so many functions depending on what protein we're talking about. So they are very important. They can be enzymes and many other things. Um, and then we also got certain waste products like that, that are actually a bit toxic, like urea. Urea is a waste product. It's something that our body doesn't want to keep because it's a bit toxic. And we'll see later in this video where this comes from and what urea actually is. So you can see that's in a nutshell what's in our blood, okay? Obviously there are more things, but for the IB, this is what I want you to know. Okay, so here we got it. Now remember, 
uh, our artery, right? It's carrying blood towards our, uh, the cells of our body, right? Because the cells of our body uh, depend on the nutrients that is inside our blood, like the glucose, right? Like the glucose, like the oxygen that the red blood cells carrying. And our cells are not innocent. They're going to use all these nutrients and they're going to make a mess of it. They're going to make waste products, right? As you break down, as you make things and do reactions, metabolic reactions, it's inevitable that certain waste products are made. And these waste products have nowhere to be put except back into the bloodstream. So that's kind of where things like urea come from and other waste products, okay? So that's important. Know that in your mind, this is what's in our bloodstream. Things that our body needs, but also things that our body does not want to keep, that it wants to get rid of. So here we are then at our artery. Now the artery comes, comes down and it's got many branches. Some will go to your lower body, for example, and say one branch here is going to go to the kidney. Let's take a look at this branch. Um, remember, bear in mind, all of this stuff is in there. Now the kidney is going to be this fancy, fancy filter. And what it's going to do is it's going to take all the things from our bloodstream that we do not want or that our body does not need anymore. And it's going to put it into this beautiful pipe here. This beautiful pipe. You see it? This is the ureter. And guess what? The ureter is going to carry all of these things that our body does not need anymore, according to the kidney. And it's going to carry it towards our little uh, thing here called the bladder. You see the bladder? It's a little sack here that's going to store our urine. Let me show you. See? Now, uh, now we have our urine here that's stored. All the waste our body does not need anymore. And this waste... When, we, when, it, when this bladder gets very full and distended, it's going to trigger um, a reflex, sort of, like you really have to go pee. And then you'll voluntarily decide, oh, I got to pee. Unless, of course, uh, you wait too long and you just pee yourself. Or, of course, when you see Teach Me and you just can't, uh, you just can't control yourself and you pee, right? All right, so now the pee will leave the bladder through the urethra. Don't confuse those. Urethra and ureter. Ureter is the pipe carrying the waste or the stuff our body does not need anymore from the kidney to our bladder. And the bladder is the thing carrying uh, urine uh, to the external world, right? The toilet, urethra. Okay, so that's the big idea here. Now, the good things that, the, that, the, that, that we want to keep in our body, because remember, we know the bad things are going to go in the ureter. So the good things are going to be kept inside our blood and it's going to leave the kidney by a vein, okay, a vein. Now, this vein will obviously now go back to our heart or whatever, right? It's going to go carried, carried back towards our heart so the heart can pump it again, okay? So that's the big idea I want you to understand here. Now, what's this little thing on top of the kidney, okay? This is called your adrenal gland, okay? And why? Because ad means on top of, and renal is another way of saying kidney. So it's the gland on top of the kidney, the adrenal gland. And what it does is it makes a certain very famous little thing called adrenaline, okay? This is where we make that hormone that makes you all hype, the fight or flight hormone, okay? Not too important though for this video. So that is it. That's very important. That's all the structures here that's key to know about. Of course, we're going to talk uh, very soon on the next slide. We're going to slice open this guy, the kidney, and we're going to take about the nasty. We're going to take a look at the nasty details of the inside. But trust me, it's not so bad. For now, understand this big picture. Okay, cool. So let's summarize here. So the kidney is the organ that regulates the contents of the blood. Okay. What do I mean by regulates? Two things. One is excretion. We know the kidney is going to make sure we excrete or get rid of the things that our body does not need anymore. It's going to take all those things out of the blood and make sure that we can get rid of them. Okay, and it's going to make sure to keep the good things inside our blood, okay, which will leave the kidney as a vein. Now, what else can it do? I thought that's all it does. No, there's one more thing. It's very important, and we're going to talk about it later in this video in detail. It's called osmoregulation. Basically, what this means is the regulation of water levels in our body because osmo ref ref um, refers to water levels. So it's gonna, the kidney can also regulate the water levels in our body. Don't worry, we're going to talk about it details later. But for now, what I can say is we know our bodies, right, are like 70% water. We have water in our blood vessels, a lot of them. Um, we've got water inside our cells, like the cytoplasm. We've got water in between our cells. We've got water in a lot of places. And um, the kidney 
and, and we want to make sure that those water levels are maintained at a relatively healthy level. We don't want too much water in our body because it can be very bad, as we'll see later. And we don't want too little water in our body because that can also be very bad. So the kidney is very cool because it can kind of control the water level and make sure that our water balance in our body is uh, to the level that we want it to be. So for example, you can imagine the artery a lot, um, the, inside the blood vessel, there's a lot of water. So the kidney can be like, if the kidney, if, if your water level in your body is very, very high, your kidney will make sure to take a lot of that water from your artery here and put it into the ureter so that you can excrete a lot of urine so you can get rid of all that excess water because you don't want too much water, right? So like that's very obvious when you drink a lot of water in the day, you'll realize you pee a lot because your kidney is doing osmoregulation and making sure that your water levels in your body is balanced. You don't want too much water, you want just the right amount. The same goes for the opposite way. If you're very dehydrated and your kidney knows that, it will make sure to conserve as much water as possible, to put as little as possible into your bladder so that you pee very little and that you're keeping all that water so your water level can be maintained. Okay, that's the idea behind osmoregulation, but we'll talk a lot about that later in this video. So here we come to this last part, the composition, before we go into the nitty grittiness. So remember, this is more of a summary, blood content is different in the renal artery uh, compared to the renal vein, which is also different to that of the ureter as a result of the blood filtering action of the kidney. Okay, here. So this is real quick what I want to say. So you can think of the renal of the artery here, the renal one, the renal artery going into the kidney. You can think of it like unfiltered blood, like dirty blood. And you can think of the renal vein as filtered blood. This blood has been filtered, it's clean, all that sort of stuff. It's got all the stuff our body needs. It's been filtered. Uh, but remember, a big other difference between an artery and a vein, you guys learn all about this in the respiratory system, so I don't want to linger on here. Remember, the arteries are very high in oxygen and very low in carbon dioxide, whereas the veins are very are, is the opposite very low in oxygen and very high in carbon dioxide. Um, so I'm not, I don't wanna go into anything in more about that because you guys will learn about that in the respiratory system, okay? So that's it for this part. Now we will move on to talking about all the structures, the detailed structure of the kidney and the nephron because we have now the, uh, the big picture out of the way of the the function of our urinary system. So let's zoom in. We're gonna zoom into the little kidney here and look at all the details you need to know. Let's slice it open and check the inside. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.